Hey guys, welcome to the Piano Sound Force YouTube channel. What you're looking at here is a still image from a video I took last year, uh, last March. And um, this is a remarkable video of a NASA balloon that I saw above my house near Philly. Um, and I just happened to look in the right place at the right time, I guess. The sun was hitting it at just the right angle, it was at sunset, so that it looked like this bright star that just caught my eye when I looked up there. And I was like, wow, this is something I gotta train my telescope on this because this is gonna be something unusual. Um, definitely never seen anything like it before. So uh, before I show you the video, I wanna give you a little info about the balloon. But before I do that, Make sure you hit like and share because I would like as many people to have access to this as possible. Um, I do think that we as citizens have the right to know what our government is doing above our heads. Here is on NASA's website, nasa.gov, um, they have the periodic table and um, Super Tiger is this uh, experiment that's uh, carried aloft on these large 450 foot diameter balloons. They are looking for cosmic rays, and this is something that Mike from around the world has talked at length about. And um, so it makes sense that we would see maybe more and more of these balloons uh, being launched from different locations. So here you've got electrons, that's 1%, hydrogen, that's 90%, uh, I guess, of what they're you know, encountering up there. Helium, 8%, and then you've got 1% also of these heavier nuclei. And so these are cosmic ray particles. They're traveling at nearly the speed of light. So you can imagine uh, what they can do when they collide with other particles. It's such high energies that you get particles that didn't exist. You get elements that didn't exist before. It's creating new elements up there, uh, very, very high in the mesosphere region. Um, and so that's where, close to where these balloons are, around 20 to 30 miles up there. Notice that arsenic is indeed a component of this blue shaded portion of the elements between neon and barium that it seems that NASA is most interested in studying. And again, um, Mike from around the world has mentioned the, uh, the concern of arsenic contamination in rain because it gets into the clouds, the upper atmosphere, and then rains down and gets into our water supply. In addition to a lot of these other things like iron and things that are, can be poisonous. So uh, that may be something that they're trying to keep an eye on. Okay, and so here uh, they've got a picture of the balloon next to a 747. And then they have the Washington Monument here. So that gives you an idea of the scale and the comparative size. So this is a huge balloon. Here's the cargo. This is, you'll see that it's very similar. It looks very similar in my footage. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if the balloon that I caught was one of these super tigers. Uh, they say that they actually remain loft for longer periods of time. They remain up there. Uh, other experiments that we're talking about they only stay up for a day or for a couple days. So um, this one I saw above Philadelphia. So again, guys, I mean, they must be launching more of these than they tell you about on their website because they only talk about launching these from Antarctica and Sweden, pretty much, and then maybe Arizona, New Mexico, you know, a few launches from there. Now, I know that they have, uh, NASA has a center in Greenbelt, Maryland, um, where they have some sort of space flight center there. I don't know if they launch these from there, but that's one way that it might have gotten over Philadelphia. That would kind of make sense. So they claim here that uh, they launched this one from Antarctica, this experiment, uh, and that the circular winds contain it to the continent. They contain it within this area. All right, so this is Antarctica right here. This is a picture of the balloon launching. This is the uh, instrumentation underneath. Uh, this is the gondola that the balloon will be lifting. They say it's about 6,000 pounds, which is about the size of a small bus. And um, you'll see in the video, there's blinkers on either end. So that's probably about where this thing is. So I, I would say this could very well be the experiment that we're looking at in the video that you're about to see. Yeah, 
blinker on it. So it's something hanging beneath it. And it's getting darker, so it's gonna be hard to track this sucker. By the looks of it, it could be. I would imagine a lot of people could see this one is brighter. 